Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. Brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, the Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time. This is morning prayer for Thursday, week three of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On his holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called Mother, for all shall be her children. It is He, the Lord Most High, who gives each His place. In His register of peoples He writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, your only Son wept over ancient Jerusalem, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock, and made it the mother of all the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church, and grant that all people may be reborn into the freedom of your Spirit. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. 
Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ooze with care. Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop in the bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king. The peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim. The earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in a pillar of cloud. They did his will. They kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. God, you are the source of all holiness. Though no one can see you and live, you give life most generously and in an even greater way restore it. Sanctify your priests through your life-giving word and consecrate your people in his blood until our eyes see your face. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. Let your love for one another be constant, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be mutually hospitable without complaining. 
as generous distributors of God's manifold grace, put your gifts at the service of one another, each in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is to deliver God's message. The one who serves is to do it with the strength provided by God. Thus, in all of you, God is to be glorified through Jesus Christ. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Let us joyfully cry out in thanks to God the Father, whose love guides and nourishes his people. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Most merciful Father, we praise you for your love, for you wondrously created us and even more wondrously restored us to grace. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, shine with the light of radiance on a people who live in the shadow of death. Let the dawn from on high break upon us. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Thursday, week three of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, a worldwide Catholic association of lay people who pray the divine office daily as part of their rule of life. Sacred music has been provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, a monastic community of women who desire to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary in the giving of herself to God. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time, the Liturgy of the Hours.